this monastery remote sited on the far south of Sponge. Yeah, those were, were bedded out is in the north. No signposts at crossroads. The traveler must depend on keen trail sense. Cars cannot hack the trip. Donkey track is way too rocky. The mellow approach to Panarmitis is naturally by sea. Panarmitis Bay, sparkling Greek, aqua, fresh bay. And to drop anchor in the enchanting Bay of Panarmitis with its pure turquoise water. And sandy bottom, you can see all the way down too. The Earthman is staring at the path to Panamitis through the window and shivering with Hindu. Oh no, Mashivaya vibration. Darling, come to me for one more passionate moment, my flute freak mystic. I whimper, half asleep, and nude. I draw the blankets back for my earthy explorer. Earthman glides head first under the blanket to the scuba. My thighs and my pussy. I'm a naked woman, baked up all night in my own body of an lascivious, sultry heat under peasant quilts. And I'm hot to be licked. Earthman eats my muffins for breakfast. After my marvelous muffin orgasm, I blow him. And what naturally comes from a man dramatically spurts across my face and hair and throat. Tingling from head to toe, my Earthman walks outside Yawns, stretches. I mean, we're talking 6 a.m., dawn, you know, you know, just light. Beautifully socked and motivated to explore any danger. Our final embrace. Wow. For the first time since dramatically eloping from Lindos, we passed the whole day. Separated? Solo, the Earthman climbs the stone stairway beyond Yalos to the interior hill highland village of Churio. He pauses before the slightly ajar door of an old carpenter shop. He shyly peers inside. Aromatic, blonde, cedar, uh, cedar shavings curly queuing across the floor. The atmosphere smells alpine and biblical. The bearded carpenter named Stephanos could be Jesus as an old man. Greek craftsmen have been working with such silent wood shaping tools for centuries. The aura of antiquity delights the senses. The aroma of pine, cedar, fine crafted cabinets, tables, and chairs, nothing commercial, technical, no electricity, or rushed with no power tools 
the workshop exudes the serenity and absolute confidence of a natural craftsman taught by a master. Stephanos has overgrown gray eyebrows. He's calm, at one with his destiny and his culture. Good morning, my child. Where are you going? Kalimera pidaikimu puthpai, inquires the tranquil octogenarian, amused to see the foreigner. <laughs>